So take the stage, Susan. That's right. Thank you, Daphna. It's so fun to be on this show. And what a great group of musicians you have. This time is fantastic. I'm happy to be here. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm in Mexico. But I thought I'd uh, play a song that I wrote a long time ago, back when I used to live up north. <laughs> There are no trains in this old town. There are no railroad ties to buy. There are no stations on this line. This is the truth, a simple fact. There are no trains around here to bring you back there are no engineers with striped hats no conductors waving from the back there is no click there is no clack there are no trains around here to bring you back This old town ain't on that map. There are no crossings, no red caboose, no danger on the tracks. There are no trains around here to bring you back. There are no stories here to claim of accidents or acts of fame there is no damsel laying on the tracks there are no trains around here to bring you back there'll be no kissing on the platform no celebration when the train rolls in There is no coming light When the night is black There are no trains around here To bring you back There is no coming light When the night is so black If you leave now There are no trains bring you back. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> oh, Suzanne. Suzanne. Thank you. I wrote that song on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> All in one swoop. Um, oh, those are the best kind. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty fun to get that voice out of the window on the plane that said, "Okay, get your notebook. I got something for you." <laughs> it was pretty cool. The next song I'm going to write, um, I wrote in 2010, uh, and I was watching this drama unfold uh, on the local news: a mining accident in West Virginia that really touched me in a way that has stuck with me and. Anyway, it's called Massey Miner's Blues. Alice got the call today. Twenty-nine miners fell, they say. It was April, but a very hot day. Alice needed her coat Into the light of day They brought seven 
right away. Eighteen lay where they could see, but four remained a mystery. Are you warm tonight? Is your bath just right? Are you watching the news? The Massy Miners Blues John, oh Jonathan Oh John, get your brother Tim And take a breath Unclench your fist Don't let this ruin your life The air is thick and it's dark as hell In the chamber five miles in feet of a rock above my head Are you warm tonight? Is your bath just right? Are you watching the news? The massive miners blues The air is thick and like the inspector found a miss but now they say pull back pull back pull back and breathe tap tap drill tap 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 they may be alive still tap and drill it's deathly still Is your bath just perfect? Are you watching the news? The massy miners Thank you. Oh gosh. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. That's a gripping tale, uh, Susan. That's especially for somebody who's a little claustrophobic to think about people stuck like that. Yeah. Well, I want to know about Guanajuato. Can you <laughs> draw us a little picture of what that's like down there for you? Well, it's very easy. Um, the weather is perfect. It's a little cold right now because um, we're high up in the mountains at about 6,500 feet. So at night it gets cold. But the days are sunny and beautiful and um, we live in the central part of town, which is the old part of town. The buildings here are hundreds of years old. Um, it's kind of a colonial architecture here. It's in the top 10 most beautiful cities in the world, according to um, somebody, I don't know, somebody, who, whoever wrote that, I don't know. But um, there's a university with uh, thousands, tens of thousands of students. It's an urban university. Um, of course, the last two years they've been gone, but they're starting to come back now and uh, we've missed them so much. Uh, it's a, a you know liberal arts school, um, engineer school. There's all kinds of beautiful uh, students here. It's also the capital of this state, so the the government is here, um, which kind of gives Guanajuato a middle class that you might not see in some other cities of the same size in Mexico. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's clean. It's safe. There's great food. Lots of music, lots of street musicians. Um, I, 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 we found everything we needed here, including the fact that we don't have to have a car. <laughs> so that's nice. what's well, like. We're all on the way. Uh, we're hopping on a plane, <laughs> and you, you just sold us. So it sounds, sounds beautiful. And, yeah, I had heard uh, that there's a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of music in, in Mexico. I haven't been down enough myself to find out firsthand, but uh, what's the music scene like there? 
Well, it, you know, we have uh, a symphony every weekend that plays that, that's attached to the university. And this is really important because um, for us, it matters. In, in America, it seems like the symphony is kind of exclusive for certain people who can afford to go. But here, it only costs about $4.50 to go hear a full-on symphony. And the people go, the, you know, the regular people go to hear the music. So there's a lot of that. There's tons of people on the street playing for pesos, and they're wonderful. There's um, our favorite band is a Cubano band. Um, they play Cubano music, but they're Mexican uh, people. And we'd go out dancing two or three times a week. The music is fabulous here. I love it. Yeah, okay, so I'm definitely booking that vacation ticket. <laughs> okay, tell me about your music. Are you doing any recording or performing there? Well, I do perform a little bit. Um, I always open up our open mic, uh, so my Valentine and I um, do a, a little open mic, and then he's the MC for the show, but... Um, I am not really doing any recording right now. I do. I have started a songwriters group here, though. I'm hoping to expand that and uh, really help develop that because there are a lot of people. I think songwriting is a, a fantastic outlet uh, as a creative outlet, and being able to share that with other people is is great. So that's cool. kind of what I'm working on right now, holding space for other people more. Yeah, yeah. We'll bring some of them on here. I think we're going to have to rename ourselves Open Mic International. See? There you go. All right. Why not? Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs>